further than the uh, current interaction between the Academy. Our old friends from those uh, fora, Comet, but he was also a geophysicist. Thank you, <clears throat> Dame Jean Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm very pleased to be here at the Royal Society. It's a special occasion and a special privilege for every visitor, especially for stranger or foreigner, <laughs> especially for a citizen of one of the countries of the European Union, to use a slightly more contemporary term terminology. Because uh, this visit and the event today symbolizes the depth and the solid nature of connections that exist between the Royal Society as the oldest academy of science in the world and uh, the rest of Europe, if I may put it this way, again using one of the more traditional terms used in this, on this side of the, of the channel. These uh, connections are indeed very deep and it is important at a time like ours to remind ourselves of the depth of our connections. In 17th century, England was the place where enlightenment, where rationalism, where critical thought and scientific research were at home. This was the place which radiated the kind of thinking which proved later on to be of essential importance for the development of entire European continent and connections which were built at that time had a profound impact on our common development, on everything that was developed in the subsequent decades and centuries. At the same time, this movement, this spirit, inspired a number of personalities on the continent. The thinking in, an, in a scientific way ambition which was in fact an encyclopedic ambition that became quite at home in many countries, many parts of Europe. Now, Slovenia at that time did not exist as an independent state, it did not exist as a political entity. It was part of the Habsburg Empire of the time, but it had its own uh, distinct identity, both uh, ethnic and very importantly natural identity. The fact that Janez Valkad van Varzor, one of um, our noblemen, spent much of his time and a great part of his life researching the natural specificities of the country had to do with an overall understanding of nature, human being, and the role of human being in nature. The lake of Cerknica is an interesting natural phenomenon. It's a part of um, landscape, which we call Kras, Carso, which is interesting for its hydrological specificities. The lake disappears and re-emerges, and different types of life characterize its disappearance and its re-emergence. So that, in, its, in essence, is a phenomenon which is calling for scientific research and serious study. And it is not surprising that it attracted a great deal of attention outside the immediate region in which this lake finds itself. 
But Yanis Varkad Valvazor was a man inspired by great ideas of enlightenment and spent his entire life collecting information, scientific information about his country and also about the artistic expression in Europe. As a result of his lifelong research, we can now say that he produced a memorable collection, a unique collection of documents, prints, drawings, something that is worth knowing and celebrating. In Slovenia, we have done a lot of work to collect these papers into a single collection, and we thought that it would be appropriate to present a copy of that collection to the Royal Society as the institution which was the intellectual home of Janez Vajkad Varvazor's lifelong work. Our Academy of Science and Art, which has generously supported this project, was particularly pleased to make this project part of its own cooperation with the Royal Society. Obviously, today, priorities are different. They are much more specialized. Priorities of our era are based on knowledge which has become much larger than was at the time of creation of the Academy and the time of Janez Vajkad Balbazor. But we have to understand that our knowledge today would not be what it is without the kind of foundations which were laid in the 17th century. So reminding ourselves of those foundations is something worthy to do at present. And we in Slovenia thought that it would be appropriate to make a small contribution to that and to present this collection of documents to the Royal Society for its own collection where it can be part of the heritage of which the Royal Society is proud. We do not want to overemphasize this, but we would like simply to say the spirit which was generated here has been felt far away, and it is felt today as well. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Yes, I'd like to present the, the Academy with the uh, document uh, about the collection that was today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. This is wonderful. 41 uh, was nominated. Uh, close the formal uh, proceedings now. So we're delighted that this uh, gift. <laughs> Thank you.